Right, hello, hello folks. I'm here. Right, welcome to my microscope lounge. Um, I'm just going to go through basically how to use a microscope. What a lot of students think when they use a microscope is that they can take a slide, uh, pop it on a microscope, and it will magically be perfect. Yeah, like you see on, t on TV and films. Yeah, but you have to work at it with a microscope. When you get your microscope, it should come like this, okay? With the stage clips facing forwards. These are stage clips. Um, and it's got three objective lenses. You should know these terms anyway. There's a low power one, that's times four. It's a red, red, red color. There's a yellow times 10 and a blue times 40, okay? The eyepiece is times 10 and it multiplies. So if I'm on the lowest power, the times four, it's got a four on it as well, because you can see these things. And when I look down, I'm seeing times 40 magnified. Four times 10 is, gives me times 40, okay? So, um, and this one's exactly the, the same. Um, when you are putting a slide on a microscope, yeah, first I always keep it on a paper towel and give it a little wipe just to get any kind of dust off. Um, the, it goes on, on the stage, underneath the stage clips. So I pop that on there and I tend to look where the specimen is first and then put that right in the centre so that, because that's where I'm going to zoom into. Now I could, put the stage clip over it to hold it, but then it's very difficult to move the slide around to find different areas. So I tend to just pull those stage clips back and out of the way, okay? I then turn it on and no light's coming through, but there's a dimmer switch at the front on this one um, to change the amount of light that comes through. And this one, similarly, it's got an on button on the back and on the side, it's got a dimmer. So you have to look around on the microscope. You'll find where things are. Um, but they're all pretty, you know, turn it on and dim the light. When you're on low power, there's a wide hole in this lens, therefore it lets loads of light through. So it's like, oh wow, that's really bright, therefore I can turn it down, okay? And um, that's one way of changing the light, yeah? That's all I'm, all I, the most basic way of changing the light that comes through a microscope. However, there's another way to change the behaviour of light. So underneath this microscope, Underneath the stage is a condenser. This changes the behavior of light. It has lenses in it that basically focus the light through the specimen. And there's a little, little iris there as well. Like we have an iris that controls the size of our pupil. There's an iris that you can open to let lots of light through or you can close to let less light through. When there's a small aperture, so um, that means less light can come through, but it also means that you get more contrast. You want a nice high contrast view, okay? So we change the aperture size by moving this little, little lever here, and you can experiment when you're using a microscope, move it backwards and forwards um, to change the amount of light, okay? Again, students often have the iris wide open. They have too much light coming through, and they look down and all they see is light. There's a specimen there, but it's like taking a photograph of me with the sun behind me. You just don't see anything. It will just obliterate the actual image, okay? So, yeah, um, maneuver this lever when you are having a look down, change the amount of light, change the aperture. You're after the nice, best quality view possible, okay? So, I find the central part of my specimen, I pop it right in the center, and I look down and I can see nothing, just a bright white circle, and there's a pointer in the eyepiece on this microscope, okay? The stage is wound fully down. So I know to focus this, I need to move the stage up. So I, I look down, my eye's not pressing on the eyepiece, I'm kind of quite a way away. Technically, I should have both eyes open, but it's quite difficult to do is that. But, but you can have a, have, have a practice. I'm winding the stage up as I, as I look down, then, oh yeah, something comes into focus, a nice leaf. I can then hold the stage, use my thumbs, and I can manoeuvre it so that I get the thing that I want to look at, because I want to look at a palisade cell, I'm going to put that right in the centre, okay? Give it a bit more of a focus. Lovely, okay? So that's now magnified at times 40, trust me. Um, I want to get onto times 400. So the next one I go to is the next step up. I don't go to the highest power straight away. Um, I go to the next power up. Or crucially, I can't hit the stage onto the eyepiece on this. It, they can't physically meet. When I move onto this one, I can, I can break things. But if I've focused it well on 
this magnification and centralised it. When I change to the yellow one, it has to click into position. A little click there. Um, again, some students don't have it in position, so light can't pass through, and it's dark when they look down and they can't understand it. It's because the lens is, isn't, isn't clicked in. So when I look down now, I can still see it. It's still in the centre because I moved it to the centre. I can still see it, but it's blurry now, okay? But it's roughly focused. Yeah, if I change it and I see nothing, I'd go back to the first lens, get it even more central because maybe I'm off slightly, and um, I'd get it even tightly focused. I can therefore then just move the stage down and it comes into focus. I move the, the, the wheel I like about, you know, three or four degree turn. Okay, so now I can see that, move it into the centre again, it was pretty central anyway. And I can go to the times 400. It looks like it's going to hit, it can't hit. If it's focused on this one, on the yellow one, the blue lens can't hit. Okay, I look down, yeah, it's blurry, it's got a bit darker now as well, so I'm going to increase the light. Um, I'm going to reduce the iris slightly to get more contrast. And now I'm going to use the, the fine focusing knob um, to get that into focus and yeah a lovely beautiful view and I can hold the stage you use my thumbs and gradually move it around but yeah perfect yeah a lovely times 400 view of the cells okay when I've finished take the slide off you take that back to where you got it from change the lens back to the low power put the stage clips forward wind the stage down for the next person, turn it off as well to save the battery, um, done. Okay, this microscope's um, our newer version, but it's really just um, you know, the lighter, um, and the only real difference is that they've got a joint, so the, the, the inner wheel is the coarse focus, and then the, the, the fine focus is like the inner wheel here. But it's exactly the same process of um, move, the, move those away, the stage clips, put the specimen on, turn it on, there's power on the back now, far too much light, get it focused, lovely, manoeuvre the slide into the centre, change to the next power, that's the yellow one, the smaller one, good, needs a bit more light, change the light, oh, that's really nice, um, and then go to the high power, in fact it's already focused, these are nice microscopes actually. Get a bit, little touch again. The, 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 there's a pointer there, but I'm seeing a round circle, field of view, times 400 view. But yeah, it's you know, um, it's more difficult than it looks. And you know, part of the skills that you need to get is using complex equipment, of which a microscope is our is one of our complex pieces of equipment. So I'll finish with this. Put it onto low power. Stage clips forward. I've turned it off. Stage down. Done. When you're carrying them, two hands please. Um, and then we, once you've used the microscope, it gets put away for 72 hours um, before the next class can use them. So you can be assured that you've got a nice clean microscope when you use it.